Hi there, Luke Riggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to cover how to use the user data RGB shader to change the colors of these robots using just a single standard surface shader. Okay, so before we start, just need to make sure the node space is set to Arnold. So I'll render node spaces, just make sure that's set to Arnold. And then we'll create a new node material. Just double click that. And then create a standard surface shader. Connect the output to the shader of the Arnold material and then create a user data RGB shader. Connect that to the base color of the standard surface. And then in the user data RGB shader, there's an attribute. And we need to type color in there. Okay, so we we'll select the first robot model here and add some user data. And if we type color, the same color name in the name property and change the data type to vector. This will enable us to change the RGB values of the color output of the standard surface. So here we've got the RGB values added to the color of the user data. So for the first robot, we'll add a value of one for red. And we'll do the same for the other robots. So add user data, color name, and vector type. This one will be green, so I'll put one for green. And again, add user data, Vector. Uh, so let's assign the node shader to the robots. And we'll also assign it to the eyeballs, which become clear in a minute. That's why I'm doing that. And then Arnold, IPR window. Okay, so we've got a red, green and color colors for the robots. So if we go back to the user data RGB shader, if you notice there's a default value. So this value is used when the specified name isn't available so because we haven't added any user data to the eyeballs. So I'm going to change that to white. You should see that they render white. So that's an introduction to the user data RGB shader in Arnold. Thanks for watching. Bye.